Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Woofy's Rants. I am Woofy, and this episode today, I was about to say welcome to again, like an idiot. But anyway, this episode today is on a recent controversy that I've come across on one of the um, pages that I follow on Facebook. As everybody knows, I am a massive wrestling fan, so this is for wrestling fans, and if you're not a wrestling fan, uh, don't watch this video, I won't be offended or anything. But this is for wrestling fans to hear. <clears throat> so, I follow the Facebook page, You Are Not Getting Booked. And there should be a blurb up here. You Are Not Getting Booked. And it's basically a wrestling page that makes fun of some of the more idiotic sections of the wrestling circuit. Like, the imitations... Like there's so many imitations, it would surprise you how many imitation leagues still exist to this day, purely to sell tickets. It works. I'm not knocking that it works because it does. I mean, you, you get a guy, a seven foot guy, you give him a really bad wig and you dress him up as cane. Somebody will pay to see him because of the name value. Um, but that's basically what you are not getting booked makes fun of. Um, they make fun of the more stupid things in the wrestling business and wish there was more pages like this. But I came across this controversy when I was reading through it the other day. And like I was two days into being a fan of it on Facebook. And I will um, provide a link in the description for this. And I came across something that utterly disgusted me and it was a very very hot topic on you are not getting booked it is American Premier Wrestling now this promotion in Statesboro Georgia they promote and this is almost disturbing to say they promote matches between children and I'm not saying kids as in wrestling kids as in the young guns, as in the guys trying to make a name for themselves, the greenhorns or whatever. No, they are promoting children. It's it's sick. It's sickening to begin with, and not to mention quite dangerous, as I'm about to tell you. I will start off by saying this really, really clearly, so everybody understands it. Children, and I don't mean kids in the wrestling sense, as in they're training for it. Children have no business being in the ring no matter how excited they are to be in the ring their bodies haven't developed properly and yes I am talking like preteen children who are doing this in APW in Statesboro they have no business being in the ring their bodies are underdeveloped so the one wrong move and their body will snap like a twig where they belong is in the front row with a ticket, enjoying the show. Provided the show obviously draws more than 10 people. Now, I'm sure there are people out there who will try and liken this to the Young Bucks angle at a recent Pro Wrestling Guerrilla event, where they super kicked a young fan who was celebrating his birthday. Now, PWG, very controlled environment. The angle was very, very controlled. The fan wouldn't wouldn't have let it happen if he had not agreed to it. And it was obviously arranged, and it was all safe. The Young Bucks, I don't think I've ever hurt anybody. Um, my personal opinions about the Young Bucks aside, I mean, I sometimes don't like their attitude, but that's fine. I'd never take away from the fact that they're fantastic wrestlers. They took care of that kid in that whole entire angle. It was obviously a controlled angle where nobody was seriously hurt. You can't compare that to putting three 14 year olds in under in the ring. One of which was a girl. <laughs> I know, right? One of them was a girl. I'll put a picture right there. And they were doing dangerous moves that they don't know how to do safely for the pleasure of a tiny fraction of lecherous adults. And side note that I mention lecherous adults, 
it's no secret in wrestling. Now, all fandoms have their bad eggs. All fandoms have their bad eggs. It is no secret in wrestling that some dudes go to wrestling events simply to film the women, to zoom in on their ass, to zoom in on their boobs, and then take it home for their depraved pleasure. That is a constant with few members of the wrestling fandom. It's sad, but they're among them. Now for APW, as little fans as I understand their drawing, having a girl in the ring and knowing there's some people around that do that, that's quite disturbing. And I'm sure that if this was your little girl, you'd want to see someone's throat ripped out. I know I would. When this whole controversy blew up on you are not getting booked, there was a video posted. I'll post a picture going towards that video. I won't link it because I'm not giving it any views, I'm not giving it any airtime. I'm just going to put that picture there. I'm going to let you think about it. I'm going to take that picture away. And this video involves this guy by the name of Jesse Mills. His ring name, his act name, I don't care at this point, is Admiral T. Rex Mills. Very creative for a flea market wrestler. And the promo involves him picking his son over his head, or somebody's son, I'm not sure, but the video was disturbing. Shows him picking this boy over his head, Ultimate Warrior style, having his hand somewhere very dangerous and very, very disturbing, and press slams him very awkwardly into a pool, barely hits the pool, and no matter how much the kid probably wanted to be involved in this, he probably did. I mean, the one thing about wrestling fans under the age of, say, 14, is they'd love to be involved. I'm not taking that away from them, but they shouldn't. And Mills was touching inappropriately as he was going for the press slam. That was disturbing in itself. And honestly, it's it's sickening. It's it. it it really is. I mean, kids should not be involved in this. They should be in the front row as fans. That's what they should be doing. I mean, the Young Bucks angle notwithstanding, because that was controlled and that was safe. They should not be involved. And Jesse Mills, who looks like a low-rent rip-off Bubba Ray Dudley, or Bully Ray as he's known now, and Tom Kaiazo, or Cujo Deluxe, the owner of this promotion. They're doing really badly wrong with what they're running out there. And for what I understand, they're taping these shows and they're selling them. And you know how many lecherous paedophiles will get a hold of that footage. It's wrong. I don't care what justification there is for it. I don't care if that kid was excited to be involved with wrestling. Because you know where this footage will end up. It will end up in the hands of somebody looking to get off their sick fantasies. And that's disgusting. That said, I do want to say, while after this um, thing exploded on you're not getting booked, APW has since... Um, shut down their Facebook page and on their actual website they've wiped 99% of their content. Now for people who claim they aren't doing anything wrong and you can look at the comments on you're not getting booked and you can see that they think they're not doing anything wrong. 
getting rid of your pages like that? Seems like you have something to hide. What I do want to say though is I don't condone any violence as revenge in this situation. In the sad existence of this promotion, if there's things that are going on that are really, really bad, and it's obvious they are from what I've been talking about, then what you need to do is call law enforcement. In Statesboro, call Georgia law enforcement. Call the Georgia State Athletic Commission, because I'm sure there's one that exists. Do whatever possible to get American Premier Wrestling shut down for what they are doing. 14 year olds and under do not belong in the ring. Hell, anybody under the age of 16 should not be in a wrestling ring. Some people train under 18s for this and they do it in a controlled school. But apart from that, don't belong in the ring. They belong in the front row as a fan with a ticket in hand and maybe a pass to meet the wrestlers after the show. That is what they get. That's where they should be. And from what I understand from one of the comments, the venue in which APW runs is in on the show and they're impossible to talk to. So, but threatening violence and threatening all that, it does nobody any good. Getting the Georgia law enforcement to do their job and enforce the law and get this shut down, that is something to be done. Because if you just go into violence, the only thing that will do is turn the targets of your rage into ghosts, they will drop off the radar, and they will just start up again somewhere else. And that will be really, really sad because they'll have gotten away with it. But understand that violence is not the way to deal with this. It's not. It'll just make everything ten times worse and people will disappear without seeing justice. That's my view on it. I'm going to say it. This is more dangerous than, say, a 20-year-old yard tard, a 26-year-old yard tard, I don't care what age they are, a 20-year-old yard tard, as the industry calls them, doing shit in a makeshift ring made out of mattresses and sticks and actual string in their backyard. That's how more, much more dangerous than this is. If they are doing, like, professional wrestling when their bodies are still trying to develop, their bodies will break. That's what develop. that's what happens. That's, uh, that's sorry to say. From one, of the, from one of the comments I heard, one of the kids uh, broke his wrist trying to perform a flying elbow. Can you see how dangerous this is? I mean, from one of the videos posted on You Are Not Getting Booked, the choke slam that that boy delivered to that girl in that three-way match was painful. And you can obviously tell that they don't have the proper training and that they shouldn't be in the ring. Even at their age, they shouldn't be in the ring. They should be in the front row. As of now, APW's matches with children in the ring are still on YouTube for the whole world to witness. But their official... Their official website, which by the way looks like a cat's poop got put in a blender and was spread all over the internet, has wiped 99% of all their content from its servers and their Facebook page is gone. Um, for, for people who have claimed they're doing nothing wrong, they clearly have something to hide. It's a case of turn tail and run. They are actually trying to ghost themselves off the radar and start up in a different part of it. That's, the, that's my opinion on it. I try not to single out the personality traits of one as the traits of all. I mean, especially where it's not warranted. What Mills does, what Cujo does, because I have trouble saying his last name. That's how much I don't care for the guy. What they do does not reflect on everyone else. That's what I'll say. The paedophiles and lecherous adults that they have in the front row does reflect on them, but they'll get what's coming to them anyway.
Mills and his ilk, his gang or whatever, his family, his family friends, the people who justify this are trying to justify it by the obvious, it's my Christian right card. Now, I'm not a fan of religion, I think it's an archaic, an archaic concept that should have been eradicated long ago. If religion is your only defense for what you are doing, it is an instant lose card. The vilification of nearly 10,000 people who like a group that's dedicated to the preservation and the love of professional wrestling. It's also another lose card. True wrestling fans know how to scream louder and make a bigger fuss than anyone else ever could. So, that makes them a very, very powerful firebrand waiting for somebody to just try and piss on the fire because that fire will keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger until you can't control it anymore. They're just waiting for an idiot. They are waiting for an asshole to come and piss them off so badly and they will shit on you. They will shit on you just like the rest of the non-wrestling fan base shits on them. I mean the wrestling is fake brigade. Yes, we know it's not real, but you don't need to shove it in our faces. But anyway, as much as people on these smart mark pages like you are not getting booked and the wrestling news group say, as much as they say that John Cena sucks, at least he belongs in a wrestling ring, at least he has the proper training to be in a wrestling ring, at least he is of age to be in a ring. APW shit, dressing up kids and wrestlers and having them perform for the sick pleasure of a tiny few lecherous adults, it has no place in, in anywhere, not just in wrestling, it has no place anywhere except the degenerate minds of these people. And I'm sure the rest of the world would prefer it if they lock themselves away and don't harm us with their presence. So, the message is, take the kids out of the fucking ring. Place them at ringside, as fans, where they belong, until they are of age and can apply for proper training, can pay for proper training. And as for the owner, Cujo Deluc, because his real name is not worth pronouncing. From what I hear, you like to come on to the wrestlers' wives, like to grab their asses. Well, here's a, here's a thought. Stop inappropriately touching the wrestlers' wives. Stop booking kids in the ring, and people would leave you shit alone. The worst comes to worst, you just fade into obscurity as another promotion that failed to survive because they did not draw the numbers that they needed to draw to survive and be a successful independent wrestling promotion. These kids are not Tyler Fullington, Twisted Sand, the son of Jim the Sandman Fullington in ECW back when that, back when that angle was the hottest thing in 95. This is not Dominic Gutierrez, the son of Rey Mysterio Jr in the failed Rey Mysterio slash Eddie Guerrero custody angle that they did back in 2005. These are children with underdeveloped bodies in a position where 99% of the time they are going to get hurt. And that's really, really sad. Stop being illegal. People will leave your shit alone. You certainly won't get a piece in the Inquisitor, as you so rightly deserve, for the shit that you're pumping out there, simply for the entertainment of a few adults who just want to stare and are sick in the head. So
So. Oh, and that's something else I do want to mention. Hang on. Go through my research one more time. Booking wrestlers who would never appear for you because you can't afford their fee and would never afford their fee in a million years with the amount of people that you're bringing through the door. Understand this. Luke Doc Gallows is pissed beyond belief that APW has advertised him for a show that he'll never appear on. So much so, he's probably going to sue whoever used his, used his image illegally and it is encouraged that other wrestlers who have been falsely advertised by this terrible barnyard league or by anybody, you get falsely advertised, you sue to your heart's content because it's bullshit. Stuff like this is a cancer on the wrestling business. The wrestling business has been in decline for 14 years. You know what you're doing? You're hastening this death. You're hastening this decline in the professional wrestling business. Things like APW and their ch children matches, it's a cancer. The imitation leagues, they get money through the door, but they're a cancer for the wrestlers who actually want to learn their craft and make something of themselves on their own name. This situation has completely pissed me off to the point where I had to say something. So I hope you're completely educated about this in, in... Start again. I hope you're completely educated about this incident, this controversy. I encourage you to like and be a part of You Are Not Getting Booked on Facebook. I encourage you to listen to the Tipping Point podcast that covered this. I encourage you to read the Inquisitor piece. And I hope you have a nice day. And I hope the next wrestling show that you get to go see, you see some quality. You see wrestlers using their real names, not putting on costumes and pretending to be Gold Dust and The Undertaker, that you are doing right and you're seeing the right thing, you're seeing the right product. Don't pump money into this kind of cancer because it's going to kill off the wrestling business really, really quickly. I hope you have enjoyed this episode, guys. I've been Wolfie. This has been Wolfie's Rants. Peace. Yo, what's up, guys? I hope you really enjoyed that video and everything, and I hope you can subscribe to Deadbolt Dragons, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, all the social media, and maybe go one way or the other because I got it wrong last time, and check out my other videos. But until then, I'll see you later. Peace.